just. <laughs> what is happening here? It's the entire time here presenting you with a wonderful Minecraft life with my girlfriend. We are here, uh, a couple hours after the quarry episode, and we're hanging out at the quarry because we want to show you the progress it has made. It has literally been a couple hours. When did we? We off? got off around. Nine Look something maybe? Nine. Yeah, like eight or nine, somewhere around there. Okay, so it has been three or four hours. And first of all, to show you uh, the work, I want to go get something real quick. I'm going to go get a portal gun so I can come back up. Alright, and I'll show you how far it's gone. Uh, let's see. I'll put that right there. And then I will show you guys how far this is done. Alright, so. Kalabunga. Now, guys, just so you know, I did look at this ahead of time, so I knew that there was water. Uh, you shouldn't. Um, you shouldn't have told them that. What were you I'm thinking? <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't have. Uh, now, as you can see, it hit a sort of a cave over here. And the cave obviously released a bunch of water. Uh, you can see it dug into some marble over here. Uh, there's coal and iron. Totally called the marble. And yes, called it, it. It missed things. Okay. What? Oh, there's a, a, a thing attacking me. <laughs> it, it missed things in the wall. But one thing is, we are going to just flip this over the other way after it's done. And then we'll, we'll just continue flipping it until it's gotten everything. But we can also, after it's done... I just how how we get in here? After it's done, we can just uh, we can flip it completely around and put it somewhere else. But when we actually move it, we can go and just head straight for the iron and gold and coal that it's revealed if we need it. But I'll go show you what's in the chest in a second. Uh, this is this is what's going on down here. I mean, there's stuff all over the place. Uh, obviously lava was here and it got covered by the water. Now that the quarry has uncovered water. Hitting lava won't be a problem. Uh, all the lava will be eliminated when it gets there. Let's, let me show you how far down the core is. There it is right there. We're on it actually one. did hit lava, and we have a block of obsidian. So that should tell you how the water works. Oh, does it, does it break the obsidian? <laughs> yeah. No way. We have a block of obsidian. I didn't know here. it broke the obsidian. Wow. I thought it... Oh, that's so cool. Well, anyway, yeah. Well, there, We have fur, too. I just showed them a few places where the water, uh... Yeah, that's because I killed a wolf and sent him plummeting into this thing right there. <laughs> it's pretty, yeah, so it picks up everything, guys. Uh, the little vacuum thing, it just picks it all up. Here, let's see. See if the sweet potato goes... If we have a sweet potato in the chest later, then we'll know something funky happened, because I just threw sweet potato. Anyway, yeah, you were saying obsidian. I just swam down to a hole where uh, there's obsidian down there, because... Since it unleashed that water early on, and probably in several other spots, to be honest, uh, because of that, uh, any lava down here will get neutralized uh, instantly. And so this thing will stop when it hits bedrock, and that's it. Basically, it's it's at 11, so it, it doesn't have much longer. I mean, it'll be hitting bedrock pretty soon, so. But we'll see what happens, and uh, not really sure. I haven't seen it go all the way before, so. We'll see what happens. All right. He's not uh, excited or anything. I'm excited. And as far as these things, I've turned the time up to 300, and it it allows them to get pretty hot. I think they get up to like 150, but they have until like 210, 220 before they actually blow up. So, like I said, the longer you can wait to turn them off, the better. So, um, we don't even there's not even a need for us to improve this system. This system was way too fast. <laughs> Not not too fast, but I mean, if it was slower, it wouldn't be a bad thing. Even. Like, if we need to take off one of these sides, that would be totally okay with me. And, uh, the fuel is... Did you did you fill this with more fuel? Nope. Okay, the fuel is completely fine. I mean, this is more than enough fuel. This would be good for a whole other project. It'll, it'll make it through. Um, let's see. Here's our, all the ores we have. We have a good amount of iron, a lot of coal, some rubies, some sapphire, no diamonds or anything, huh? Some fur right there. So, uh, none of the ores really have a designated place to go, so all of them end up in this chest. Uh, basically, anything that doesn't have 
isn't in a row, we'll go over here. And our attention hope was all the ores, but apparently fur is in that category too. And then all the marble here. Man, that's a lot of marble. Wow. Because do you see that big wall of marble down there? Yeah. Marble comes in like these ginormous oh, patches, guys. Yeah. It's oh They're huge. And here's the cobblestone. Uh, we, obviously, we figured out that we probably should have just made there more room for it. But then again, I mean, we only need so much cobblestone. So. My theory <laughs> on it is that with the cobblestone, we'll collect it all. Then we can either burn part of it or we can... Um, or we can just make a ton of stone There is a thing stuff. called a filler. And we can actually do things with, with cobblestone and other things. Uh, and then here's some dirt and clay right in here. Eventually we can make obsidian pipes. And the obsidian, obsidian pipes create a void. So what happens is that whatever goes through that pipe just gets destroyed. Yeah, so eventually one of these routes will be like, it'll be black will be going into the void pipe and that will be where cobblestone goes and probably mm -hmm. sand at that point and uh although sand's really useful with pipes oh, so we'll, we'll have obsidian after this so yeah we have one piece of obsidian just, right now we may just go ahead and uh try it out make them next time yeah well, I mean, we could do it this time too but, oh um, there's your potato oh really yeah your potato made it sucked it. up the potato <laughs> it sucked up the potato guys that's so crazy <laughs> okay. Well, here's the sand and sands. Oh, no, just sand. There's a line. Oh yeah, because it divides it like it's it does that chest and that chest. It's pretty crazy. Then sandstone, gravel, and, and flint. Oh wow, that's a lot of flint. It even gets flint from the gravel. That's pretty crazy. And because I told it to take. No, but it, it's weird because when you uh, break flint. Or when you break gravel, you know the, the torch method of breaking gravel? Uh-huh. You know, like where there's a pile of it and you stick a torch and, and it breaks your I'll show you guys. I was doing it last episode, so most of you probably know, but like that, usually you don't, or you never get flint out of that. So I thought that when this thing broke gravel, it wouldn't make flint, but apparently it does. So that's pretty crazy. We're getting some redstone here. That's good. Look Just at that. Now? This is the first redstone? Yeah. Well, this is, so it's pretty cool. And also the clay, there's a lot of clay, so we could actually make bl brick stuff. The reason there's a lot of clay is we're using PAMS mods, and one of them is uh, more clay spawns, and it makes clay spawn with the same rarity of iron, I think is, is what she said. Oh, whoops, I feel... <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going I to too. come up, and I don't really know what we're going to work on. Really I think where you should start planting out either the vegetable garden or the trees, the fruit the, trees. I kind of want to do the trees first. Trees? All right, guys. So we're going to do trees first. Um, I think Caleb and I talked about before we would do a um, sort of a hillside orchard thing where we would create layers. So when we were sitting in our future house, we can look out and see all the trees yeah. across the mountainside, and so, it will be gorgeous. Uh, what we're gonna do is, I think, I think we're we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. So we'll be right back in a bit, but we don't really know what we want to do. We just wanted to show you the quarry before it got too far along. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on, hey, hold up, hold what? up. What? What's that? Hang on, come on. That's a bone. Do, do, no way! Wait, wait, wait! Hang on, hang on, guys. We gotta wait for this thing. Just d Where's stop it. it. I want to show it. Shh. Turn around. Turn around now. Go look at the quarry. Go. Okay. I don't know what it is, guys. I'm kind of scared. Oh. Anyway, so we're thinking of making like a hillside kind of. If you've ever looked at. Um, some like ancient Mayan gardens or stuff, a lot of times they'll have them in like segments on a hill. So I kind of like that idea. Caleb brought it up before. So. Did I? I don't remember that, but that's okay. That's are okay. Do, are we doing that for the, the uh, garden or the orchard? Orchard. Okay, all right. So we'll talk about that a little bit 
in a second, guys. And then, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. It's almost here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is so mine. This is mine forever and ever and ever. I don't know what she has, guys. Alright, you ready? You ready, guys? Ready for this? Caleb, look at me now. Look what the Cory picked up. What? A silver sword? I know! <laughs> Holy cow! Let me see that. I want it back. Okay, I'll get back. Guys, this is like one of the rarest items in the, in the game. Even oh in my the god! Game. Uh, one of that's so cool. One of uh, the things of mo creatures, Doctor Shark's mo creatures, is werewolves, and the only thing they can be killed with is a silver sword. And the only creature that drops silver sword is silver skeletons. But it's like a one in a it, one in like five hundred drop, and we've used his mod several times, and we've never gotten that drop before and the quarry just got I wonder if the quarry has like fortune or something on it. <laughs> I, guess. I don't know. I don't care. I'm That'd just cool. too happy with yeah, life right we've now. We've never seen that again. So Alright, that's the episode guys. So that's it. Um, that's we're done. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so we will see you guys in a minute after we've talked about what to do next. Alright guys, we're back and you're seeing a familiar sight. The quarry once again. This is the series where all we do is mess with the quarries. Yay! Not really. Uh, I just wanted to show you, we flipped the quarry, we just came and placed land markers on basically the uh, opposite side, and now it's digging through all the sand, and it's going to start all over, and we're still on the same fuel supply we started with. Uh, you can see there's more fuel because one of the engines decided to flip, so we had to take out the fuel so that we could reflip all of the engines, so now they're being reloaded with fuel, So, but these ones are all already. So it's the same exact system. The only thing that's changed is the land markers were flipped. And after this round of mining, which will take another few hours, but we probably won't look at it again for another couple of days. Uh, after that round of mining, we'll have to uh, be a little more creative, but we'll probably just turn it counterclockwise again. And uh, I'm going to just jump down here get real quick and show you guys what we got going on all the way to bedrock. It's cleared out everything except for the bedrock, and I will go up to the chest and show you uh, just how much stuff we have. Uh, for the most part, it's nothing crazy impressive as far as as far as the rare metals. And no, no, not as far as rare metals, but we but, have a butt ton of obsidian. Yeah, the obsidian is <laughs> pretty impressive. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a half-ish stacks of obsidian. That's a lot of stinking obsidian. So for once in a lifetime, for the first time in forever, uh, we can finally use obsidian. So and we'll, yes, he did just quote frozen. Yeah, I did. So, so you're we'll, welcome. We'll probably have to do something. Okay, we can make obsidian slabs and stairs and pipes. So uh, we can we can do some stuff with obsidian, and we will expect that. Um, and we also we have some iron. I'm gonna take this so I can show you how to use a creation I made. It's pretty simple. And we'll leave all the rest of that for now, and we'll come get that later. Uh, tons of cobble. We're probably going to have to come set up a, an obsidian pipe after this uh, episode to uh, take care of all that. And we got sand and gravel and all that stuff. But none, none of that stuff's cool. So. Um, mainly what we do this all for is for this and for some building supplies. But the obsidian was pretty cool because at first I didn't, I didn't realize that this was going to make that so I'm going to show you one more thing um, what I've got going on over here is just a simple cooker system because uh, we're going to need glass for our next our next thing so basically what you do is in here you just throw in some glass or some sand and actually this time I'm going to throw in some iron and some gold and then what happens is back here you have your fuel chest which has nothing in it and it's going to fuel all the furnaces and then down here is uh, hoppers, which most of you will actually recognize. There's the hopper system, and uh, then right here is where it goes. And we've made just a ton of glass uh, using sand from our <coughs> uh, quarry. So we have a lot of uh, stuff going into this right now. I'm actually going to need to go make some more coal blocks real quick out of that coal supply. And I'm using coal blocks because it, they're more efficient, uh, highly more efficient than coal. Just straight up coal. So see, I'll show you. It's going there. And then it should pretty much evenly distribute it. Although, I think the first one always gets a good amount of favor. Although, it doesn't look like... Oh, those ones aren't getting squat. Yeah, so yeah, the first one is getting... Or the first two, at least, are getting favored. I don't know what's up with that. Huh. 
But we'll, we'll look at that uh, later. But for now, I mean, a two furnace system is even efficient because it's just. Oh, wow. Holy cow. When did all this coal get in here? Forever ago. Oh, my gosh. That wasn't in here before. Should have been. Yeah, so I'm going to cook all of our stuff. I'm going to just use all more of this coal. Oops, I don't want to marry you. Not yet, anyway. We'll, we'll make that an episode one of these days, guys. I don't know. The season, fina the series finale or something will be us getting married. What do you think? Comment. He has to first build me a house and a good <laughs> way of life. And, Leave one in know. the comments below, guys, if you think we should get married. All right. Anyway, uh, so this is going to cook all of our stuff from our quarry. And so it's, gonna, it's just fully automated. And what I'll make eventually is an automated charcoal system. Since we have an abundance of trees... Soon I'll make a charcoal system, and I'll show you how to do that later. But that's that's another episode. So this we is literally will have a cooking furnace room where yes. it will make its own charcoal, fuel itself, and give us all our end products. Yes. We will literally never have to lift a finger. Yeah, with all these prices, I'm so super excited. Easy. And this is a super simple, so I, I didn't want to take the time to show you guys how to do it because I'm sure I'll do it several times in this series. But it's super simple. It can be way more condensed, and it can be. But I just threw this up real quick. Uh, while we were looking at this. Now, uh, we're playing our next thing, and we're not going to do the trees. We're going to actually do just the, the gardens. And uh, Jessica's going to tell you about that. Okay, so what we're doing is we're making a set of greenhouses. Now, no, they're not green. Um, Caleb had that little issue earlier. Um, what they actually are are um, they're going to be three different sets of houses, each in approximately about uh, 23 by 54. So they're going to be a good size, and they're going to be little square patches of whatever we decide to put in each greenhouse. So what we have going on is we have torches being one, redstone to torches being two, and redstone being three. So we separated them into three greenhouses. And uh, we kind of separated them by first greens and beans. Then we kind of did root vegetables and melons. Then we just <laughs> did other general vegetables, which do include some fruit, but they didn't really fit but alone enough to be their own category. So, yeah. Hey, it's going to be make fun. Three whole greenhouses, and we have a plan. You guys, I'm just going to let you look at all these real quick so you can see what they are. You can pause if you want. I don't care. Alright, there's those. There's all that. Yay. Rhubarb isn't here yet. Where's rhubarb? Rhubarb's my favorite. I love rhubarb pie. You can have a whole room just dedicated to rhubarb pie, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Are we... We're putting the cocoa with the trees now, aren't we? Or are we not? Um... We are still slightly undecided on that. Okay, It'll right. just depend on numbers. We're going to decide everything. But we're going to make the first greenhouse completely on camera. And then the other ones, we're not really sure how much of that will be on camera, if any of it. So uh, we'll see what happens. But w basically, we had a chest full of seeds. And we came out here, hold the dirt, and we planted a bunch of seeds. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, we planted a bunch of seeds and we just grew them up with bone meal so that we could take a look at them. We've done this before, but we did it quite different last time, so. It, we were all just, we were just guessing. We were like, is that a sweet potato or is this a leek? We had no idea. Yeah. So. All right, so uh, do we want to get started? Where are we going to build it at? Um. I'll show you guys what we're probably going to end up doing is Caleb and I have talked about setting up either a train or portal system to these places, and we don't have a lot of flat area around here. Now, these greenhouses, like I said, are going to be really big, so we're probably going to have to travel a little bit away so we can make them big enough. Oh, I don't know that. But not yeah. too far, so it'll well, just go, kind of be this way. Let's go find somewhere. Here we go, guys. We're off on an adventure, a magical adventure. So, yeah, we, we picked an, a nice place over there, but not everything can be clustered up there. But we have a lot of mods, too. Uh, 
improve the traveling experience, so. Now, and this is kind of boy. talking to Caleb, but uh, this is one spot where we could probably do it. We'll have to flatten a little bit of the land out, but overall, it's pretty darn flat. So we could probably do it right over here. Okay, this looks good. All right, so uh, we want to. Are we gonna get it started this today or what? Um, probably not this episode, but we can kind of show you, tell you guys what we're thinking. Um, we're gonna do three different colors using clay, and then of course lots of glass. And then they're going to be interconnected through an overhang with a covered path. So it'll be look kind of cool, and uh, it'll be connected and everything. So it'll be fun. Okay, so but I think we're going to be out of time for this episode to do it. So. Okay. Um, also, there's ints over here. I just want to show you guys this. They plant stuff. I don't know what the deal is with them, but they plant stuff, guys. They're, like, planting trees and stuff. And even if, if you hit them, look, look at this. They kick you, and they plant stuff when they kick you, I think. Hey, 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 this one kicks good. This one kicks good. We demonstrated it to all the little boys and girls. Go away. Hey, hey. This is why I don't mess with the ends. Okay, it's all good, guys. Um, I got out of there. You think I should kill him? I should kill him. Obviously. Oh, he's got he's got no no bank. He can't bank. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> uh, you just wish you were dead so that you wouldn't have to walk on. I'm not the one getting chased. Oh. But so you have to walk home now. Maybe I won't come home. You have to. I do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is this is this Jorge? Hey Jorge! Yeah, my, my scorpions out there, I guess. Alright, so I guess we're not going to start building this episode. Um, which one are we going to build first? I think we're going to build Greenhouse 1. There you guys, it's producing iron. There's some iron right there. That's pretty cute. Oh, and the reason it sends the materials back, some of them, because if these get overloaded, then it just starts spitting them out on the ground, and that's, that's a bad deal when that happens. It gets annoying. So yeah, this annoying. is very efficient. It's it's got all the stuff. And we need a lot of glass for this build. So yeah, we'll have a lot. But we'll, have glass we'll show you a new mod next time that might make our building lives a lot easier. Will we? Probably. Okay. It'll help. That's nice. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, <laughs> that's all for today. Um, I guess. W wait, which one are we doing? The first one. Or this, the torches? Yeah, torches. We're doing, we're doing the torches? So we're doing the torches. You can have another look at, at those real quick. Uh, you know, the bamboo shoots. It's it's a category. I don't remember what it is. It's grains and, and green vegetables or something? No. What, what grains and beans. Grains and beans. So pretty much all the grains and beans and a couple other things will be in there. And it's basically going to be one big greenhouse for all those. And then we're going to have, I think, two other right now. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll go, let's go check out the quarry one more time. I just want to see it. I love the quarry. I'm so in love with the quarry. It's my favorite thing here so far. Oh, oh, it's not in, it's not in built yet. The quarry's his baby, so. I can't get through. Yeah, it's not in built yet. It's still clearing out. Oh, there's creepers. Stay away. Creepers be creeping. All right, so next time we'll get to work on the greenhouse. We'll have a super plan. It'll be super awesome. And without further ado, that is it. Leave a like, a uh, comment if you have any ideas that you would like to see incorporated into the greenhouses, uh, the orchards as future plans, um, the zoo, uh, anything like that, our house, anything like that, any, anything you think would be cool, just let us know in the comments below, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See ya.